Hello, Marco. Oh, just a bit late today. <laughs> I'm turning the sunshine today, so I haven't got much daylight. It's been quite dull all day, actually. <coughs> I was just going to try and... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was just going to try and do... Uh, I was just waiting for the, the weather to improve. It's just it's dry, but it's, uh, it's been dull all day. So I'll just wait a bit and just see if the sun came out a bit. And then you just have them days when you think, oh, I won't scope today. I need some exercise anyway. I've tried to sit in the house all day, but it drives you crazy. Uh, just come out for a late walk and see if anybody comes on. Perhaps I'll get some uh, some different viewers and have a come late. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, because I'm obviously always rushing for 4pm when it goes dark, but it's getting a bit lighter now. I'll do me... Thanks for the hearts. I'll do me... Uh, I'll just have a walk, walk around the water. I'll have a quick walk around the water. Oh, I've got a bit of daylight. Let's see if anybody comes on. Oh. Yeah, I think it's catching up on me. <laughs> catching up with me doing this scoping every day. Oh, you just sometimes I think I'll get I'll give it a rest and then you try and give it a rest and you just like <laughs> it gets such a routine and a habit. So it's usually if the weather's bad, I can I can leave it because uh, the weather's all over the place. It just said it was going to rain. It's going to rain all week, but it stayed dry. It's just very dull, and obviously, it's um, obviously I don't think you experience that in hot countries where you can be in the house in the middle of the afternoon and you think like you start putting your lights on because it goes so sort of dull and uh, overcast. This is your typical. Uh, this is your typical British weather. <laughs> oh, hello, Jeep girl. <laughs> I thought I might get some. Uh, I say I'll start doing my scopes a little bit later as we get later and later with the uh, with the sunlight because I know it uh, it restricts all the uh, restricts all obviously perhaps the American viewers. This is uh, I say I used to have the American American viewers where they're up about eight six o'clock in the morning. So. I'll start doing a bit later as we get a bit later with the daylight. I say usually losing the daylight by now. But uh, this is how it's been all day, so I can't really. I usually come across my pond to show you a, show you like a sunset. But uh, we'll just have a quick walk around the lake, and then we'll try and find the uh, yeah. We'll try and find the uh, all the swans. This is just my local park. <laughs> And then if anybody comes on, I can always extend the, uh, I can always extend the the walk. To uh, I just live near to a town centre, so I'll just I'll just do a, I'll just do my exercise and uh, see if I get any new viewers in. <sighs> All right, where are we? Got Marco in. Who's that? Oh, Mal's in. Hello, Mal. Oh, just a late start today. It's one of them days when I was going to leave it with the weather. It's been raining all day, so just get me exercise now while it's dried off a bit. Just catch the last bit of, uh, well, I can't say daylight. It's just <laughs> this is uh, this is how it's been all day. Oh, just see if me exercise will uh, exercise will help. Oh, the swans are over there now. Just trying to find the swans. <sighs> yeah, it's one of them like grotty days. It's all right if it's cold and the sun's shining, but there's been no sun today. It's just a bit blustery and dull all day. It's probably mal understand the British uh, viewers that when you know those days, mal, when you sort of have to put your you have to put like your lights on in your house, you know, because it goes to the dark in the middle of the afternoon when you need your lights on. <laughs> to read a bit of paper or something. Some more of them days where you've had to put the lights on a bit earlier today. You felt like, oh, it's either throwing it down with rain. It's usually when it's throwing it down with rain, it makes it go all dark. It doesn't happen very often. But, uh, 
This is the fun of British weather, it's different every day, so. They've had loads of, uh, let me just check for comments. Uh, Showtime Kev, hello. It's, uh, we're on uh, 4.30 now. 4.30 p.m. British time. There we go. Yeah, this is 4.30. I said it's usually, it's usually dark by uh, four o'clock, so we've gained about, we've gained half an hour of daylight in about two weeks. So, seems to be getting quick, uh, seems to be getting light, uh, light quite quickly. I say, obviously it looks better in the daylight. <laughs> If you look at me uh, re replays, I've got scopes across here with it all frozen. Sunsets, orange sunsets and blue sky. And I thought at least I'll try and document it till Periscope's finished. I was hoping I would just probably get a, a full a full 12 months on Periscope and obviously see all the, the nature variations, you know. But I think I started in about, I think I was scoping in about June, I think. I was walking every day for March, but... Uh, I don't think I, uh, I don't think I scoped until about June. So it never occurred to me straight away to do it. So I think I think the phone will enhance the. Uh, thanks for the hearts. I think the phone will enhance the picture because uh, used to do that when the sun was setting. It always used to look, look a lot bright on the on the iPhone screen. Let's see if there's any ducks we can feed while we're passing. I thought I'll do it a bit later in case I get some new new viewers and I don't think uh, Darby will be in because she's she's back at uh, doing a college I think. She usually catches me as soon as she gets out of bed. <laughs> she's up about 5am I think on uh, Colorado time. Right. Perhaps it's just like there is not. Uh, people cared. Perhaps it's just like the original periscope was when people cared. Hello, Hammerstrand. Gabri, Gab, Gabri, Gab, Gabri, 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 Gabri bra, bra. That's a full mouthful. Showtime, Kev. Yay. Hello, Jeep girl. Yeah, eight thirty. Yeah, it's so weird, isn't it? Just like the whole world. Some people are getting up, some people are getting bed, and obviously England's like the middle of the afternoon, so it's all over the place. <laughs> oh, the fun of uh, being on different time zones. Yeah, it's one of them days when I'm going to try and not scope today, but I thought I'll just do. Uh, I'll try to do it a bit late. In case we get some different viewers in. Try to do it as late as I can. Obviously, I'm restricted with the daylight. I mean, I know there are some people who do a, they do like 2 a.m. walks, you know, nighttime walks. But, uh, I can always get some exercise if I, uh, if I go to the town centre where it's all lit up. So obviously there's no lights across here, so you can't really come across here. And I think it's trying to rain again anyway, so we'll just keep an eye on the weather. It's just come out for me hours exercise. Just having to get my breath back where the uh, where the birds are. This is my local pond. I get ducks and Canada geese and swans and uh, coots and uh, I forgot the name of the other ones now. It's quite funny across here. When a few of my scopes where I had uh, it was all frozen, seeing all the birds on the ice. Uh. Hopefully you can still see everything. It's starting to go. Yeah, it's a bit lighter on my phone screen. It's a lot brighter on the uh, on the phone screen. What do you think? Perhaps it's just. Uh, what do you think, Jace? Yes, Andrew. Hang on. Perhaps it's just like the original Periscope was when people cared. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean, I remember Periscope the early days. There's a lot more interaction. What they used to do a lot of Perry meetups and. Uh, Used to do that way. Used to. I remember the days when he used to sort of who got who tapped the most hearts. He used to send you a postcard. You know, I've still got some from uh, from Australia and uh, California. 
Yeah, I used to be. Uh, I used to say, "Who gives you the most hearts?" I'll uh, send a postcard. <laughs> yeah, it's just a funny time of year, isn't it? Like with all this going on, it's a. Uh, I. Uh, oh, it's just trying to find the motivation because I'm just. Uh, I'm just wanting some new places to show you. And I'm just obviously don't want to keep showing the same places. So. Uh, it's just wherever I feel like. I mean, I did a massive, I, you know, I did a big, I did a big amount of walking yesterday, uh, and I've recovered. I thought I must be getting good recovery now because I thought after yesterday I was going to miss it in bed all day with, <laughs> with the amount of walking and the pace I was doing. I thought my knee might have been playing up, so I feel perfectly fine today. So it's like, it's just one of those funny times of year. Obviously, the weather's all over the place. And uh, looks like it's going to be a few dull days. And I'm just trying to think where I can get my exercise. If it's worth periscoping in the dark. <laughs> There's some lights over there. So it's usually just getting me exercise and then uh, making my way to the the, the supermarket, the supermarket, and make it to the food shop, get a few supplies. And, integrate my exercise and get a few, uh, few few food supplies in. But I said when I come across here like a few days ago this was all cordoned off. There's all the all the water you can see the you see where it was there look. That's where the water level come up that much. There's the tide line there where the water was all over the all come up over the over the side there. I think it's gone back to normal now. I've just got to remember I've got to try and change my route because I'm in the I'm in the dark now. I usually go all down there. But I think I'll go up there where the lights are. Alright, let's see. Let's check for comments. You remember Steve from Florida? Uh well I used to the Australian woman who sent me a postcard was uh was uh, Sonia. Sonia used to live in the, the Gold Coast. She was nice. And then the chap, I forgot his name now, he used to live in California. I think he was like a newsreader. And he used to be on with his wife a lot. And he used to do a lot of comedy shows and dress up and he used to do loads of things. Uh, just trying to think of his name now. Oh, it's getting back a long time. Yeah, I remember when he used to do the... Uh, when like, used to have, when used to have them... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, used to have people used to read the news, and they used to have like the periscope on the, the phone. Used to be on periscope when you were reading the news, and then between the broadcast, they keep talking to you on the broadcast. Uh, right. Used to do quizzes. Yes, yeah. Used to be a lot more uh, different quizzes. I did a music quiz last night. Uh, droid in Washington, but obviously it's always a, it's always difficult trying to do the, trying to do the quizzes because they're always Americans who do it, and then it's always quite late for the the British time. We did a Sunday night one where we started at, uh, we started at eleven thirty UK time, so I managed to get that two hour quiz done. It usually doesn't finish till about about half past three in the morning so, so you get it while you can to do some early ones yeah it's one of them I always use that word discombobulated it's one of them strange days you know where you I think it's all getting to you I think I think everything's getting to you the, uh, the restrictions and the Obviously, I'm trying to periscope every day, and uh, then I get in and I'm trying to sort out all the videos and try and do some editing and upload them to YouTube. And yeah, it's keeping me busy. It's like a full-time job. When you it's just getting a bit of a backlog with the. I've been trying to sort all my videos out, trying to upload as many as I can to to YouTube. I just wish the phone beeped a bit like on your normal mobile phone every time a comment come on. I wish it sort of beeped or something. Because obviously when, you, when you're walking, I'm not staring at the screen because I'm obviously watching where I'm walking. And uh, I'm, it's basically, you see, I miss comments because 
they aren't scrolling in front of me. I don't know if it's a setting. But basically, if I touch the screen for read the comments, after a few seconds, all the comments will just disappear. So obviously the screen, unless I keep tapping the screen, the comments don't pop up like they just come up. They come on when I uh, like I have to keep uh, tapping the screen. Right. Oh, hang on. Calm down. Yeah, I feel a little spit of rain. I think it's trying to rain again. That's why it's so dull. We've had no sunshine today. Where are we? Hello from South Florida. Who's that? Hello, drunk, drunken gator fan. <laughs> Welcome, I'm getting a few new people in. I'm trying to arrange a funeral now. Oh yeah, and this logistical nightmare, yeah, it's a, it must be crazy time. Uh, I watched Piano, Piano Man do a whole opera. Oh yeah, I saw that, caught a bit of that, yeah. Piano Man. A music he used to watch the sunset while he had his tea, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the best I can offer you for today, folks, the, uh, the British weather. I just usually try and focus on the swans, they're usually quite popular. I've just got a lake where I've got some swans on. I said I can't guarantee the uh, sunsets like some people. I don't do sunrises, I do sunsets where available. So if you check out my replays, I've got over 400 there. Uh, there's over 400 replays. There's 400 replays, so obviously this is just a... Uh, this is just part of trying to do my daily exercise, and uh, obviously I'm trying to I'm trying to do them later and later, perhaps to get more of an audience in from other countries. I thought, oh, I'll do one. I'll do one. In the, I'll do one at dusk. I'll do a dusk scope. See what we get in. No, I don't. I don't get. It's obviously British. I try to. Obviously, this is a. Uh, if you look at my previous scopes, if you scroll back, you'll see some lovely sunsets across here. Well, make sure you follow me on all the channels. I've got a YouTube channel, Instagram, uh, Twitch, uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram, haps.tv. I'm on all the platforms. Uh, I do post stuff to Instagram uh, and I try and do Periscope every day. I can't guarantee sunsets because the British weather is just so unpredictable. Every day is different. Yeah, this is definitely not a sunset day today. That's why I said I'll try, I try and just for me exercise, you know, because we're on the, the lockdown situation. I'm just trying to still get me, uh, I'm trying to stop in, but I just find it difficult to to stop in the house. Uh, just try and come out for me exercise at the moment. Just come out for the fresh air. Feed the birds, fresh air, see if any enemy Perry family are coming on. <laughs> Anybody off periscopes coming on? I thought it'd be. I'll try to do it a bit later. Obviously, I'm on British time, so I usually try and do it in the daylight. But uh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, I do. I know. I do know somebody who just scopes about two a.m. Man, they do scope late sometimes to go really late walks. But uh, I'll try it just for one off today, and perhaps I'll get new new viewers in. Because obviously I know I get a lot of replay viewers, but uh, it's obviously about the live interaction. I think I got a lot of American American replay viewers. So obviously we're on such a big time difference. I think when obviously to, when it's about two two p.m. in the afternoon here, I think I think it's like so to most of I think the, the middle uh, Florida I think Florida is up and uh, Colorado is just going up. So, it's good. It's best. It's good to have a just trying to agree a time to uh, get maximum viewership. I suppose. It's, uh, anyway, just keep moving. I just fed the birds. All right. Let's keep moving. All right. It's so weird unless you periscope yourself. Obviously, when you you, you tend to. Uh, it's so weird to obviously explain when you. When you're walking outside, obviously you're trying to watch where you're walking and everything, and uh, it's just sort of just it's just a habit to just keep trying to look at the screen and uh, keep an eye on comments. So when you're outside, try not get run over, crossing roads and canals, because I'm always by canals and uh, 
water's edges. I'm just wondering, watching where my feet are going. And then uh, trying to get comments and some of it. 11.45, cool. <laughs> yeah. I say I'm usually finished by now, but uh, the weather's been a bit rubbish this morning, so it's been like this is a, this is a, I'm usually across here doing sunsets about 4 p.m. UK time, but uh, we do have some days where you don't see the sun at all. I'm just come out for my exercise. Just come out for my exercise. food shop, get a few supplies from the, uh, from the supermarket. Okay Mel, stay safe. Okay, this feels so weird. Everybody's got any questions or wants to call in. of whack today. Just waiting for the see if the weather would clear up a bit. So we'll have a little bit. We'll have a little obviously it's, it's hard to motivate yourself in the British weather. I think if I lived in a warm country I'd be doing scopes every day with no trouble. But, uh, it does go a challenge in British weather. Probably a few, few degrees above zero. You've got to have your gloves and your hat on. And uh, try to be motivated to. Uh, it's basically just trying to help me with my exercise. I started exercise, doing a lot of exercise in the, about March time last year. And then I started watching a lot of periscope people, and I uh, thought, oh, well, let's try and uh, let's do some periscoping. Let's do some periscoping. Right. Read two messages up. Come here. I missed something. Sorry, I was jiggly yesterday. I was grieving. All right. Yeah, yeah I saw you. I saw you watch it. Yeah, Mel. I understand people get so frustrated. I know they can get frustrated with comments. It's a, It's not. Nobody's been ignored. It's just. A, I can be honest with you. No, nobody's ever been ignored on comments. It's just. It's obviously how the, how the screen looks at my end. Basically, I catch up on all my comments on replay, really. I think that's frustrating then. It's a, I always go back to the, the replay and see how many comments. Because you wouldn't believe it, though. If you try and do it live, I mean, sometimes, I can, unless you're sitting on a bench, you know, and you're, uh, unless you're just sitting on a seat and you're reading every comment, they just go past so quick on your screen. If you have about two or three comments at the same time, they just flash up the screen. And if there's anything important, somebody will have to type and say, scroll back your comments. If you, when I'm only on my small phone screen, it's a, it soon disappear. Right. Let's see where we are. Hang on. Yeah, we'll just try, I thought we'll just try a late, a late scope today. <laughs> see if people will join me walking in the dark. Uh, what time are we on now? Yeah, it was ten to five. The time's gone quick. You can't expect it to stay to stay light. Uh, so Mark goes in. It's hard to keep it. <laughs> yeah, unless you were. Uh, I say unless you do nature walks yourself, it's a. Uh, it's hard to explain. I mean, I have people when I follow them, and uh, 
I follow people on nature walks, the outdoor people, and uh, I'll always say hello and introduce myself, you know, and uh, I know you can get anything like, are they, are they ignoring my comments, you know, <laughs> I'm a ghosty, there's so many variables, I get a few people like I follow and like you go, they're not reading comments, <laughs> anyway, so, I say, I say, I'm surprised that anybody's doing any periscopes at the moment anyway, but especially the British people. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to keep uh, keep my routine going, the daily scopes. And this is just a one-off, trying to do it a bit later. I don't think there'll be these, this late again. So, uh, I thought I'd just try it a bit later, in case I get some new viewers in. And you can always, always save all the replays. I think there's over, uh, I've got over 400 now. I probably, I think I'll try and get the magic number of perhaps 500. I'll keep an eye on my scopes and see if I can get to about 500 by the end of March. Have a little clear out of the, uh, the poor quality ones. So if I do one every day, there'll be a, nearly to be about 500, I think. Try and do a daily scope. Obviously, it's weather dependent. Whatever I show you, I'll have a little walk to the local supermarket so give people a chance to come in. Oh, still hear the birds. Yeah, there is lights down here, but obviously it's still very, it's still very strange coming down at night time. I was hoping that it's a bit eerie to come out down here in the in the dark. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not used to having a call in. I say when Derby's in, it just uh, takes your mind off where you're walking when you get Derby in. She's, uh, I said she's usually uh, comes in at the weekends easier or early in the morning. I do my scope about 2 pm. She's usually just getting up and she joins me. But uh, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to shake up the time or a scope to see if it makes much difference. Just trying to do it a bit later. So usually done by now, but I just get me exercise by walking the uh, walking the local supermarket. Be where it's a bit more. Uh, be where there's a bit more. A bit more daylight. Just give you a chance. Come on. So is anybody new to my channel? Let me know if you're new to my scopes. I say I've got over I've got over 400 so I have a scroll back. Uh, most of my canal walks, nature walks, feeding the birds. Obviously uh, I'm a bit limited to what I can show you at the moment but there'll be a lot more travel involved when we're back to normal so to speak and we can travel more. There's lots of uh, things to show you. Just obviously a lot of local things at the moment, so you can scroll back on me. I've already been scoping in lockdown, so I've got quite a lot of nice scopes I've done. Yeah, there's a tree. Oh, I think Tilly Mal was going, she's still here. <laughs> yes, the canal, yeah. Uh, Andrew, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> I know I always see when he comes on, he says, join me for a walk at like one o'clock in the morning. I think he must live in a quiet place. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be out that late, walking around. And then phone box quizzes he does. I thought about that, doing it around my area, but they've, uh, they've got such a trouble, a problem with like uh, misuse of the phone boxes that they took them all away. They took a lot of them away now around my area. They've all disappeared. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's just getting your timing so you're not on the canal in the dark, you see. I have to try and get my timing right. Because uh, obviously there'll be no... Well, I was going to say there's no illumination, but I did I did get caught on the canal once. And you can actually see if you saw my previous scopes about a week ago. You can see there's like little lights that come on. That must obviously been there for a reason so that you don't... So that you don't fall in. 
We've got our little red lights on the uh, on the edge of the canal towpath. There's little red lights come on. So somebody must have thought about people cycling when it's dusk. So you know where the edge is. Yeah. I was on one when it was just going to dusk and I thought, oh look, there's all red lights along the edge. You see like all there's all that red lights along. Must let you know where the edge is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't imagine there's anybody. I mean, perhaps people still jog at night, I suppose, you know. They wouldn't feel a safe place to go at night, but I suppose it's perhaps all the canal boat people, because obviously they live on boats, don't they? So perhaps it's just a, perhaps it's just a thing for the canal boat people as well. Because obviously when they're moored up, I suppose, they, uh, when they get out of there, perhaps they get out of the car in the, in the, night, in the dark, you know. But I have seen them anyway, so I'll have to investigate what they for. Yeah, I've, I've actually seen like little red lights that come on, sort of in the in the pavement. What time are we on? Five o'clock. Yeah, we'll have a little wander to uh, my local shop. I think Mal was going. I think she said he's still there. Yeah, we'll just see the town in a different light. We'll see it with all the lights on. We'll see if it looks different with the lights on. Yeah, the church is in darkness. But I thought about we've got like a big, uh, you see there, that's like the car park to the shopping centre. There. And I thought that might be like a, that should be cool if I have like a good sunset to, a good sunset day to sort of be on the top floor. Might give us a, a good picture for a sunset. See what's lit up. Got Barclays. Let's see if there's any cool signs lit up. Yeah, there used to be a nice, uh, there used to be a nice shopping centre sign, but obviously because into went into administration, it just went back to the pottery shopping centre. We used to have a lot of like orange lights, all lit up. Let's go down the middle, middle of this cut through the town and. Uh, See what's going on, see what's lit up. See what we can see lit up. There's Barclays. Let's do a bit of a, a bit of a different scope in the dark. That's probably what Andrew was doing it for, trying to do something different. <laughs> do a night a night scope. I was hoping I got some snow, we've had no snow yet. When I saw Andrews, I thought, oh. I wonder if we're going to have some snow. Yeah, we've had no snow around here yet in Stoke. I know Lester had some where uh, Vegan Doe is. I think she's in Leicester. She had some. There's a shopping centre. Got a shopping centre. There's a few shops open. I think it's just a pharmacy. I think it's just super drug in the post office. I mean, it isn't worth really say coming. It is basically open for the essential shops, as in Costa. And Costa's an essential shop. I'm going to Costa for a drink. I don't want to turn that shut. I say, I mean, I used to do scopes in the sort of. Uh, you know, before all this, what's happening now, I used to do scopes around, well, I used to film around the town and people would say, why is it so quiet? And I thought, it's always like that. <laughs> it's, uh, you just never see many people walking around. They're always in cars. You always see them in the, uh, in cars. I think Costa's open. This is a shopping centre. We've got the, I think we've got the, uh, I think the shutter's half down. I don't know if they shut or not. That's our shopping centre. I think they just opened for, uh, the shutter's half down, so I don't know. <coughs> yeah, I think everything's just about shutting now. 
really that much exciting things to see. The banks are open, there's the co-op, NatWest, KFC I think it's open. Yeah, it's just too, it's just too quiet. So we're so like eerie when there's not many people about. So I just usually stop across where the birds were, but uh, with it being dark, it's just obviously I'd probably if it was still light, I'd probably go on the canal. I can go on a canal walk to another one of the local parks, but I'm just limited on daylight, so I'll just keep it short and sweet for today. This is what we can see as we walk down to the supermarket. Yeah, the problem is my local supermarket has to live at the top of a hill, so it's uh, it's all down back to the supermarket. Just have a little uh, just have a little walk around here. You might be able to see my town hall looks nice. The town hall's got like a lot of um, different coloured lights on it. It's like it's changing colour. Uh, the town hall. We'll just have a little walk down to the town hall. Yeah, so it's really open, all these little little like 7 elevens these little shops that sell all like alcohol and cigarettes and the basics and chips and chocolate and sweets, candy, a lot of convenience shops. Right, have we got anybody still watching? Anybody still in? That's that's my hometown. Is Vegan Doe in Leicester? Yeah, I think she's in Leicester, I think. The nights are getting longer, yeah. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Yeah, that's our Wither Spoons. There's a the Wither Spoons. Named after a local uh, famous person. The Reginald Mitchell. Designed a Spitfire. It's just so weird. I mean, the thing is, you see, you could... If you were like a... I mean, my town, as I walk around it now, you know how quiet it is. You know, somebody watching will say, oh, is that because of what's going on at the moment? I mean, it always feels this quiet. <laughs> like, some towns are quiet. Because what we've done is we've had a lot of... Uh, we've had a lot of, uh, like, out-of-town retail parks and that, you know, that take a lot of the... Uh, just take a lot of the footfall out of the town centres. We've got a lot of places that are closed. A lot of places that have closed, and uh, it's just these little convenience shops that sell uh, alcohol and things. A lot of the stores have left the, the middle of the town, they're going to all these out of town mall, uh, these out of town retail parks, and that. So, yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Let's see where we are. Any comments? Marco's still in. Looks a nice town. Hello, Carl. Yeah, just doing a bit of a late scope. <laughs> doing a bit of a late scope on British time. I'm just waiting for the weather to clear up a bit. It's been raining all day, so just do a bit of a night scope. I'll go through the town centre anyway. It's got a bit of a, a bit of illumination. I just went across the park where me uh, where I feed the birds, but that's. Uh, I just thought I'd take you a little down to the. Uh, the town hall where you can see it's all lit up, all nice colours. <laughs> Got some of these cool marble seats. All these lights on the seats, red and yellow. I'll just show you the town hall. Our town hall looks nice with the, all the coloured lights on. Got all these cool seats that light up in the dark. Yeah, there's our town hall, look how cool it is. Try and get away from these, these sunlight things, these lamp posts. Hang on. Ooh, comment. How far are you from Litchfield? Uh, oh, Litchfield. No, we're not far about. Whew. Well, I'm near to Stafford. I'm in Stoke on Trent, so I'm near to Stafford. About 20 miles from Stafford. I'd say it's about, I'd say 25 miles. Because Stafford's about 20 miles from here, so. Litchfield's just through Stafford. I'd say about 25 miles. Now there's our town hall, all lit up in different colours. 
the War Memorial at the front. All different colours coming up. Are you okay? Yes? <laughs> Who's that? Cup, cup me cake. Hello. This is uh, our local radio station. There we are. See the headlines. This is BBC Radio Stoke. What's that say there? Got the headline. Yeah, this is BBC Radio Stoke. See what headlines are on the. Uh, got some stuff in the window. This is our local BBC Radio station. Yeah, we're in the pottery, it's the home of ceramics, so you'll see a lot of uh, you know, ceramic poppies. Stoke City Football Club, there we are. I say it's just an impromptu little walk around, just to get my daily exercise. Just trying to think which is the best way to uh, the best way to go. Show you a little bit of the town, find some of the town that's lit up. That's the town hall lit up a little bit there. And Marco's still in. Let's go down this way. Yeah, it does have a bit of a strange dimension to sort of walking in the dark. <laughs> I think Marco just caught me and was on that canal walk. I think Marco saw those red lights I was on about. You just start being on the... I don't know if they're on all the time when you start to... Uh, When you start to walk and it gets a bit dusk, you can there. Uh... Ooh, red run. Let's just see. Horror has evolved. Oh, this looks cool. Let's just see. One hell of an. Oh, it's an escape room. I've never tried one of those. Escape room. Have you got those where you live? Escape rooms. Oh, that's all about. Cosmetic surgery. Yeah, I think that's it for the. Oh, I could have come down the. Uh, I could have come down Piccadilly. Let's go. Let's think which way I can go. Let's go back up this way. I'm trying to think of the streets where they lit up at night. Let's go back this way. Oh, yeah. I say I've got a nice church near where I live. I could have gone to that church. We've got a we've got an old church that's lit up at night in my town. Let's go back this way. Yeah, it's had a little bit of a dimension to do a night scope, but the lights it just it just feels really yeah. Once it's dark, it just feels really late. It's only uh, it's only five p.m. Uh, only five p.m. UK time. <coughs> oh dear. Oh. Got my mask on anyway. Who can hear me through my mask? That's a nice feature where it's all lit up. That's the bus station down there. So it gives you an idea when you're periscoping, just trying to see how long it takes to walk around the town. Trying to give yourself a. <coughs> Trying to see how long it takes to walk around your, your city. It isn't a big town. You know, it isn't like Manchester or Derby or Birmingham. We basically used to just be six separate towns. It used to just be towns and then it turned into a city. We amalgamated six towns. Stoke, Hanley, Fenton, Longton, Burslem and Tunstall. They were like towns about 100 years ago. We amalgamated into a city and called it Stoke on Trent and we became a became a city. That's all the funky chairs, funky seats. All lit up. That's a bit like those lights there. Uh, it's a bit like those lights there. Uh, I 
wasn't going to come up the town. I'd have gone more on the canal. It's just with it being so dark now. I don't want to go on the... Uh... <coughs> I usually get me, me exercise on the canal. Uh, get away from the traffic. But, uh, it's just a one-off for today. Hopefully the, the weather won't be dull every day. We've been lucky. We haven't had many dull days. We just have a bit of sunshine. But, uh... <coughs> so we just have a wander around. Lots of little shops have opened up. A lot of these little, uh, like little convenience stores that sell food and bits and bobs. Because we've got like quite a a variety of uh, a variety of people there, uh, like ethnicities, you know. So we've got a lot of. Uh, Different food shops with the Polish food shops and uh, there's different food shops for them. But like I said, it's so eerie when your town's this quiet. I mean, you'd probably say, oh, it's because of what's going on, you know. But it's always this quiet. It feels like a ghost town. At five o'clock, it just feels like it could be like midnight, really. <laughs> when Andrew walks around at two. When Andrew walks around at 2 a.m. And then uh, when Andrew walks around at 2 a.m. and you feel like it's 2 a.m. I could say this was 2 a.m. This is just 5 p.m. It still just feels as eerie when you walk around at 5 p.m. Your mind just makes you think it's really late when it's dark. Defibrillators. I mean, your things will have popped up. Yeah, we've got a lot of Turkish barbers and lots of different things. Just give you a little overview of the town. All these funky seats lit up. Where's everybody watching from? There's any new viewers because I've come on a bit later. I do use the try and scope in the daytime, but uh, the weather's not been very good today. I tried to stop in actually. You try to stop in, but uh, when you scope like every day for, you've done about 420 scopes every day. It's uh, it's just hard to uh, just to have a break from it. I think I had one day when the weather was really bad, and I, I left it. I'm always intrigued to come on because you never know who's going to come on. So it's about like going to like a thrift store, you know. Hello, keep dreaming. It just answer me. Uh, just let me answer my phone. Just a second. Oh. 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 Hello. I don't know what's happened then. Right, I don't keep dreaming then. Yeah, I'm just having a strange late one today. Keep dreaming and uh, Marco. <laughs> just been waiting for the, wet, the weather to dry off. You know, it's only given me about half an hour of daylight. But we've had no sun today, so it's it's been hard to decide if it's still daylight or not. It's one of them uh, British cloudy days. Well, it's been such a dark all day, really, just very dull. This is the only sort of brightness we've got, these seats. Uh, where's everybody watching from? We've got any new viewers in, any questions? If you don't come in and say hello for five minutes. Oh, come on, we've got about ten minutes left, if anybody wants to say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. The traditional British thing, kebab shops, uh, Turkish kebab shops. We've got all food, kebab shops.
where are we? Just trying to trying to sort my phone out. Hang on. Um, let's think. Which way we're going to go? I'll not get run over. <sighs> Try to go to the well that's up bit to the town. Right. Yeah, anybody's still there. Oh. Hope all is well with you. Hello, keep dreaming, yeah. It's best it can be. It's slowly it's like that Freddie Mercury Queen song. I'm going slightly mad, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going there. Uh, I'm going slightly mad. It's finally happened. <laughs> yeah, just trying to keep myself motivated with exercise and periscope chats. Ooh, that looks nice. A spicy veggie one. Yeah, I was just going to try and not do any scoping today, but uh, it's just a, such a habit when you do it every day for months and months and months. Just trying to do a little uh, cheer around my town in the dark. <laughs> just having the exercise. Making my way to the food shop. Get some essentials. And decide how cold it is. Oh. Yeah, you don't realise when you when you're the periscoping and uh, relying on the weather. It's very easy when you're in a hot country. I keep showing you things. Test your resolve trying to do it on uh, Test your resolve trying to do it on British uh, British weather. It is getting a lot lighter though. It's gone dark about half an hour. It's gone dark about half an hour later now, so I should be able to have up to about uh, this quarter to five. It'll soon get light enough where you can scope till six, seven, eight o'clock. So. I don't know, because I was doing that late in the summer, but I don't think I was getting many viewers, so. The problem is, it's just, it's just obviously deciding how much daylight you've got till the end of March. How light it'll be till the end of March, you know, until the periscope closes. And, uh, it's obviously going to be a lot lighter. It's probably going to be light till about, by March, I bet it'll be light till, light till about six o'clock. If later. And we'll just see how we go with time. Yeah, I never know it's best to scope really. I'm not like a, I can't do sunset sunrises. You know, I'm not I'm not up that early. I say I'm usually out in the middle of the afternoon. About between about be between about twelve about one. I'd say about between 12 and 4 p.m. UK time. That's using my scoping window between about 12 and 4. I can never really predict. I know it's better to. Uh, I know it's better to uh, so to know what you're going to do and uh, know what you're going to do and uh, let you know what I'm doing. Might get more viewers in, but. Uh, it's because I don't do things in the house, you see. Else I could do like a, some later scopes when we've been on UK time. When I'm always doing the, uh, always doing sunset scopes. I say the sunset's about to. Uh, if we do have a nice day, it's usually light. I think the sunset will start about about 4 p.m. If I've got a sunset day. You'll see a lot of variety from your scopes. This is just a one-off. <laughs> I've usually got something interesting to show you. This is just me trying to not scope today, and then I thought I'll just come out late and uh, 
just on my way to Sainsbury's. That's our our supermarket. Let's go see what they are selling. This is everybody still there. Hello, Tyrone. Keep dreaming. Uh, so if you just share it out to all your followers, I'm just trying to, just struggling to get more viewers in, some live viewers. I thought I'd just do a late, a late scope, just see if any new people popped on. Make sure you check out my replays. I say I've got over 400 periscopes done now. I think, I think this is the only one. This is the only one that's in the dark. <laughs> I think I've done a couple in the dark. <clears throat> a couple in the dark, I think. But, uh, this is just a one-off for the weather. We're probably back to daylight schedule, perhaps tomorrow, depending on the weather. But I'm always beard feeding. Uh, sunset scopes, beard feeding. Obviously, I'm desperate to sort of show you more things, but they're all closed at the moment, so. It's getting t a little bit frustrating to uh, not be able to show you a lot of things. It's just basically scoping the exercise and trying to find some new route, some new routes to go on. And all being well, it's, uh, we'll try to do a minute do my exercise in the daylight tomorrow. I don't know if it's best to try and do it as late as possible. You know, with the uh, I'm trying to do it as late as possible, perhaps to get more people in, but I don't know if obviously a lot of people are, are back to work and back to school and uh, when's a good time to do it. Oh. So I thought I'd just scope me, uh, scope me exercise today, how long have I been now? Oh, that's just good timing. 57 minutes. That's my exercise done. So I missed Darby today, she'll be busy. Thanks for coming in, Mal. I haven't seen Roland or Darby. Miss Darby. Hope there's a mini on this car park, that's we're gonna miss doing the mini. Doing the mini uh the mini uh what do you call it? <laughs> the mini searching, trying to find a mini. But I say it's uh it's an unusual scope. I'm doing it in the dark because the weather's been raining all day. So I just just cleared up when I got about uh, when I got about half an hour of daylight. Uh, so we just uh, we'll just make our way into uh, we'll just make our way into Sainsbury's. Get a few supplies. Just trying to look, desperately look for a mini. <laughs> to satisfy me and Darby's uh, finding the mini scopes. I don't think there is any. Right, okay, folks, I'll call it a day. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hello, AB Logic. Hello, Crikey, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'll just end in the scope now. Check out my replays. It's just a one off today. I'm doing this in the dark. <laughs> I usually do them in the, in the daylight where I can. Just having my, my, my daily exercise and making my way to my food store. Check out me on check me all out on uh, the social media. I'm on uh, YouTube. I've got a good YouTube channel. I put all my periscopes on YouTube. I'm on uh, I'm on Twitch and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and uh, I'm on Hapstock TV. I just do periscope every day until it finishes and then I'll uh, I'll find another platform. If you keep following me on Twitter, I'll keep you up to date on Twitter. If you'd like to support the channel, I'm on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Jace the Who. And that helps. Uh, it's much appreciated if you uh, want to buy me a coffee to keep me warm on these sco cold scoping days. And that helps to support the channel going forward. And obviously I'll show you a lot more things in the, when the lockdown's finished, which could be perhaps March time, I think. The, the current guesstimates about March, I think. We might get a bit more back to normal. I'll just be periscoping in supermarkets. That's all there is to do, really. Okay, folks, see you on the next one. Miss you, Darby.
<laughs> See you on the next one. Bye for now. Stay safe, everybody.